Kenya is located on the coast of eastern Africa. It is bordered by Tanzania, Uganda, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Kenya is a land of vast beauty, from Lake Victoria to the Rift Valley, and from Maasai Mara to Amboseli National Park by Mount Kilimanjaro. The people of Kenya are diverse, as there are 42 different tribes within its borders. Kenya is a land of contrasts. Half the country lives in poverty, and people make as little as $1 to $2 a day in many places. Amidst the lush green beauty of the rural hillsides, the coexistence of Kenya's wondrous beauty and its stark poverty become readily apparent when one takes a closer look. In my career with Catholic Relief Services, I've served many communities who were extremely hungry. Uh, people die sometimes because there is not enough supply of food to that particular community. One of the communities that is underserved is my own community. Around here, not long ago, you know, last year, we had several people that we gave food to. In fact, last Christmas, I counted 47 families that we gave food to. Some of those were elderly and did not have people to continue providing food for. And when I took four of them to the hospital, the, our mission hospital here, the sisters who were taking care of those told me that they were not sick. Actually, they were hungry. Unfortunately, I left to go to the United States for my speaker tours. And when I came back, the four had died. Died because they were hungry. Kenya has the third largest gap between rich and poor in the world and has a 40% unemployment rate. This is most obvious in Nairobi, where over one million people live in informal settlements. What role can the Catholic Church play in this situation? I'm John Cardinal Njue, the Archbishop of uh, Nairobi. Our vision in the church really ought to be that which is focusing on what we are calling the integral growth of the people that are entrusted to us. So, focus, yes, on the matters spiritual, but also focus on matters that uh, um, are uh, 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 focusing on the needs, on the human needs of the people. Because, you see, if, humanly speaking, people are not kind of uh, um, uh, um, fulfilled, then it is very difficult even to inculcate the uh, uh, spiritual dimension even to them. But so from the time I became a um, uh, bishop, one of the first uh, structures I had to establish was precisely the, the then development uh, office, which then slowly by slowly became the Caritas and so on. I think for me, um, uh, Caritas is so vital because it is really an area or rather a department of empowerment, helping the people to be able to embrace their own uh, identity, their own dignity, and uh, consequently be able to utilize their own gifts, you know, and uh, consequently elevate their own standard of uh, living and so on. The message is very simple. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And I think this is the message sent to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, telling us, basically, can we find a way in which we are able to come closer? Come closer to those that are in need. And because it's by coming closer that you are empowering them. I think this, for me, is, an, is normally a kind of expression of solidarity. And being able to say, yes, um, uh, those people may be from Africa, those people may be from Asia, but they are persons like us and they have uh, a right, you know, of being sustained and being elevated and so on. Because it's only in that way we shall manifest our unity, you know, in, uh, be it locally and also universally. One of the areas, of course, that uh, I felt very, very, very strong was that, well, um, the whole issue, for example, of the, uh, of the refugees. The whole question also of uh, um, 
of um, the disabled and uh, uh, the people with various um, uh, difficulties. I think there, I must say, CRIS has been really in the front line. Not only here in Nairobi, but I think also uh, with reference to the uh, uh, conference, Kenya uh, Conference of Catholic uh, um, uh, Bishops and so on. And so I can never say thank you enough. I can only say, I say, yes, we have already started, but we have not finished yet. My name is PM Jos. I'm the country representative for Catholic Relief Services in Kenya. I think one of the major issues that we have here is in terms of health and HIV AIDS. I think there is a very high prevalence of HIV AIDS. So we actually try to promote abstinence uh, before marriage and uh, faithfulness in marriage is the core, our message that we like to promote through our HIV AIDS prevention program. You know, this country has uh, about 2.4 million children who are orphans and vulnerable children. Out of that, 1.6 million are actually orphans, either single orphan or double orphan. We have a number of programs that provide the children, you know, to get a good education, to get food security and their families, and also take care of their health. So we work through local institutions so that these children have their basic rights ensured. Only 12% of the people in this country have access to pipe to water. And 30% of the people actually have, uh, are actually using surface water, you know, like from the river. So um, nearly 50, I think about 46% of the people have no proper access to water. So this is a major uh, issue that faces in this country. This is the Dadaab refugee camp in the border of Kenya, where which hosts about 460,000 Somali refugees. CRS provides water and sanitation and hygiene to about 20,000 refugees in one of the refugees camp called Cambios in Dadaab. If you go over to here, this is Nyansa province and Homabed diocese, where we have three major programs. One program focuses on about 16,000 orphans and vulnerable children, most of them who have been orphaned because of AIDS. Uh, we have a program for children under five, which focuses on education um, um, and nutrition for children under five. Um, another program is Wajir, which is also bordering Somalia. Here we have a USAID funded water and sanitation program where we are creating water sources for the vulnerable communities and also promoting hygiene and sanitation. If you come to Nairobi, you know, this is the capital of Kenya, we have a program that tries to uh, bring together different communities um, so that they can live in peace. This is a CRS privately funded project that promotes peace building in the slums in Nairobi. My name is Kevin Omonde. I'm the program funding coordinator at Caritas Nairobi. Catholic Relief Services helps and support our peace building project under the relief program, a project that is uh, run in the Kariobangi and uh, Madari slums. Uh, and really most of that fund goes to supporting the initiative that is aimed at building peaceful coexistence among the communities that live there. Caritas and Catholic Relief Services are partners in supporting peace building projects in the Kariobangi slum in Nairobi. Small businesses are supported, such as reupholstering of car seats and assisting with opening a car washing business. These projects help create cooperation and peace in the slum areas. I think what needs to be manifested more and more, and today more than yesterday, is that what I'm calling solidarity. What I'm calling solidarity. And to realize the time has come when we must kind of go beyond our where we are or where we are coming from or uh, our color or whatever, but that we are all of us persons created in the image of God. 
And I think we have a duty. And it is, I, shall I use the word, it is not a favor that we are doing when we are really helping the needy. We are only fulfilling our responsibility by getting closer to those that are suffering, those that are in need, and so that they can be able to have that inner joy of being recognized and of being valued by their brothers and their sisters, no matter how far they are, even if they don't know them personally. Ha, 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 ha.